So in the previous videos, we've shown you how to create a custom project, import your footage the right way from an SSD or an SD card, organize your footage and use some of the touch controls. Now, something in this video I wanna quickly run over is the little inbuilt camera. And this is actually quite good if you do film on your own. So what you need to do is tap the little icon here at the top, which looks like a video camera. I'm gonna just face this here over at Lewis, who's filming me right now at the moment. And what's great about this camera is you have things like manual focus. So if I touch this, we can see that it switched to manual focus. And you can see there by adjusting the slider here, it's sort of focusing on the tripod there. I'm gonna go back to automatic. We have an ultra wide or the wide angle. We've got settings at the top left here. So we can change to the resolutions just like you can on an iPhone. At the bottom left here, we have the settings icon here. This will allow us to record in ProRes. But what I like is if you go across to the tools section here, you can turn some grids on. Audio, you can even use an external USB microphone, which is really, really cool. But I like having this overexposure. If we go back to tools, you can turn overexposure on. So if I just hold the camera up here, you can see it's red and fuzzy. And that essentially means that we're overexposed. So if you're filming by yourself and you wanna know if some of your highlights are gonna clip, you may be able to tell with a light this bright, but if you're filming the sky or something, this is gonna really help you get a better image from your iPad. Now, if I click X on that, on the right-hand side here, you also have controls of your white balance. So if we change that to tungsten, it'll probably go really bright blue. Let's see, there we go. That means you can lock in your white balance for a really nice look. You've got the option here to adjust your exposure levels. Turn the flash on and off, or switch around to the selfie camera as well. So I wouldn't necessarily use the iPad camera, but if you are a creator who does a lot of tutorials, or maybe you do use this as your main camera, it's good to know that you can record with more manual settings using the built-in camera on Final Cut Pro.